Okay, in this tutorial, I will show you how to make buttons and doors using uh, Portal 2 SDK. And I'll show you the basics of the hammer editor. If you don't already have the Portal 2 authoring tools beta, just go to Steam, uh, go to Tools, and just download it. Uh, just open up the Hammer World editor. If you're already familiar with the Hammer editor, you can uh, skip forward in the video a bit. Click File New. Now here is a uh, where you view your map, and the top left is the what kind of shows what your map will actually look like, and in the top right is a top view and the bottom two are side views. Now, you, your map is pretty much made out of blocks, which are just like walls. So, just pick a texture and click on the block tool, which is on the left over here, and just create a block. We're just going to make a simple room here. You can adjust the dimensions of your block and just press enter to create the block and to move around in your uh, 3d view move your cursor over the screen and press z and then use the wasd keys to move around And there's your your uh, block. Right now it's not hollow though. You need to make it hollow. So it's actually a room. So just go to the selection tool up at the top. Or press press uh, Shift S. Select your block. Go to Tools and make hollow. And just enter in the width that you would like. And there is a. Uh, the room and you can always just use this selection tool and adjust the dimensions of your blocks and if you don't want to select the whole room and just want to select a certain wall of the room you can just uh, select the room and right click click ungroup and now each wall is a, an individual wall you can edit by itself Now, uh, let's make uh, our entities. Just click on that entity tool on the left. Click in the 3D view. And to edit your entity, just uh, use the selection tool and double click it. Right now it's in info player start, which is just a spawn point. You can scroll through all the different entities and choose what entity you want. We'll leave it at a spawn point. And when you're making a spawn point, you uh, want it to be kind of not touching any walls. So you don't spawn like stuck in a, inside of a wall. So, yeah. Okay, now let's make a door. First, just make an entity. Uh, double click it. Type in the class door. Just click on prop test chamber door. Click apply. And there's your door. 
uh, just give it a name. I'm going to name it door one. And if you don't want the animation to get in the way, just go to model and go to idle close. This is this uh, pretty much just shows you the an different animations of the door in the editor. This doesn't have anything to do with the actual door in game. And now let's make the button. Make an entity. Uh, type in button. And there, here's all the different types of buttons. There's just a regular button. There's a uh, one of those ball buttons that uses those uh, spheres. There's a floor button. I'm just going to use a regular button. I'm going to name it button one. And now, uh, all we need to do, we need to actually make the button activate the door. So I just double click uh, the button, go to outputs, click add, and then uh, my output named, and click on pressed, target entities named, select door one. So it'll uh, target the door and make it do something uh, via this input uh, open. So the door will open when you press the button. And now just you want to make the door close after the button resets. So it is on button reset. Tar target entity is named door one and close I'll just put a delay of two seconds so after the button resets after you press it two seconds later the door will shut Now um, you're going to need to compile your map. When you compile, uh, you want to make sure there's uh, no part of your map can see the outside of like the the grid, the black space. Um, you want to make sure it's enclosed in a room, like mine is right now because it won't work if there's a leak in your map. So I'll just uh, save your map. Uh, save it in uh, Portal 2 Maps. And make sure the name doesn't have any spaces in it, otherwise it won't work. You can use underscores. And compile, press F9. You uh, don't need to adjust any expert settings. Everything's all set up, so just click OK. And it will compile. And your button and door should work. Now that uh, you've got the button and door working, you're probably going to want the door to actually be inside of a wall and fit inside of a wall so you can actually use it like a door. And to do that, just uh, make just a simple wall.
I'm going to just make another block. This block that you're making right now uh, will be a cylinder that will carve a hole in the other wall. So in this uh, menu in the top right, just go to objects and select cylinder and create, create your block. Uh, and it will be a cylinder, but it's going to be facing the wrong way. See, it's a uh, vertical. You want it to go th through the wall to make the opening for the door. So you're going to have to flip it. Right click, click transform, and rotate on the Y axis. It's 90 degrees. And there uh, it's rotated. Now, here you're just going to want to make it bigger. So it'll probably fit the door. And place it inside of your uh, wall and just click, go to tools and click carve. Now you see you have a hole in your wall. Actually, I'm going to undo that and make mine uh, bigger. So now um, you just delete the octagon. It's not really a cylinder, it's just an octagon. But uh, now place your door inside of the hole. And now you're going to need to resize your wall so the door uh, fits in it well. Just select the wall and make it small and just kind of mess around with the sizes and just try to make it fit the door the best. Right now that you can kind of see there's a uh, parts of the wall sticking out of the door frame. So just kind of play around with the sizes. And that's how to make buttons and doors for a Portal 2. To play your map, just start Portal 2, start a single player game. Um, when you're in the game, go to the console, type in change level, then a space, then the name of your map, press enter, It'll load up your map. Oh, yeah. And when you uh, spawn, 
in your map in the game. Uh, you're not going to have a portal gun. So either uh, go to the console, type Impulse 101 uh, and get a portal gun, or when you're actually making your map, just right underneath the player, the spawn point, just there's a portal gun entity, just make that, and then yeah. Right when you spawn, you'll land on the portal gun and have one.